to give you some more perspective on all of this because it's a lot to yeah. take in, really. So we're joined by uh, New York City Health Commissioner Dr. Dave Choksi. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us tonight. I appreciate that. Uh, I, you know, I know you've been on Twitter actually trying to answer some New Yorkers' questions from earlier today about this after the announcement came out. You yourself got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We know reaction has been rare, very rare, but if somebody got it in the last two weeks, are there things they should be looking out for right now? Um, yes, well, the first thing that I want to say to my fellow New Yorkers is I certainly understand your concern, um, you know, seeing the headlines and hearing about the news. Um, but what we do know is that um, these side effects are extremely rare um, with respect to the blood clots associated with a low level of platelets, which are um, a type of cell in the blood. Um, the symptoms that one has to look out for uh, are um, a severe headache, abdominal pain, leg pain, shortness of breath, if those develop um, within you know, one to three weeks after getting the vaccination, you should get in touch with your doctor. Um, but again, I wanna emphasize that um, these are very rare side effects on the order, based on what we know right now, of about one in a million people who get uh, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So your chances of being struck by lightning are actually greater than uh, the chances of having this side effect. You know, it's important perspective to put mm -hmm. out there. One, the million. We're going to keep hearing that, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, you've been very clear up to this point that the J&J &J vaccine has been a really critical tool in the city's plan to deal with COVID and get people vaccinated. I I'm curious, how are you making up the difference with all these doses now out of the picture, at least for now? Um, yes, this is something that we're very actively working on. Uh, as your colleague mentioned, we're shifting many of our clinics to uh, Moderna or Pfizer, and that's how we're able to accommodate uh, people who may have been scheduled for the J&J &J vaccine later this week. Um, and we'll continue doing that with respect to honoring uh, all of the appointments, either by shifting people to another vaccine or rescheduling their appointment to a later date. Um, now, with that said, uh, we do continue to have, um, you know, a significant number of New Yorkers who need to get vaccinated. Uh, and so we are calling for additional supply from the federal government so that we can get those shots into arms as quickly as possible. Yeah, what do you do about that? Because I know just this week alone, you have had eight centers that have opened up city run centers. So that's a lot to try to accommodate at this point. If somebody uh, has an existing appointment at, at this point, they either need to figure out whether it's been canceled or they're going to be able to get one of those other shots. That's right. Um, well, uh, what I can say very clearly is that all appointments will be honored. Uh, so if uh, if you have an appointment, you know, for one of our vaccination sites, you will have um, communication uh, from the city that tells you exactly what to do. Um, it may be that you just show up just as you had planned and we'll get a different vaccine, or it may be that you have to get rescheduled to a later date. Uh, and we're communicating uh, so that this is true, not just at our city sites, um, but with uh, all of the sites across the city that offer vaccination, including private doctor's offices and pharmacies. Okay. You know, I know there have been people out there who have been hesitant about the vaccine just, you know, from the get-go, and they hear this news and they say, aha, that's why I didn't, I didn't go get it. That's why I didn't get in line. That's why I did whatever. I mean, I know we don't have much time left, but I'm curious, what do you say to that person right now who's like, uh, yeah, now, now there's no way I'm getting. What do you say to them? The bottom line is that we have safe and effective vaccines, and we already know that they save lives. We always have to measure risk against the benefit uh, for any you know, medical intervention, and these vaccines are, are safe and effective. What this Johnson & Johnson vaccine um, event shows is that our systems are working. We can detect even these very rare side effects and so these steps have been taken out of an abundance of caution uh, to keep people as safe as possible. But um, we know that the vaccines remain our most important tool for turning the tide on the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Chowska, I know it has been a very, very busy day for you. We'll let you get back to work. Thanks so much for uh, stopping by and talking to us tonight. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we appreciate it for sure because people have questions. Mm -hmm.